If there is indeed an official sport in the city of Marquette, I would have to imagine that that sport would be hockey. Regional and semi-pro teams have popped in and out of Marquette since the construction of the Palestra almost a century ago allowed players to move off outdoor rinks and into an arena. The 1920s brought the era of the bird teams, teams like the Blackbirds, who started in the mid-20s, and the Owls, who followed a few years later. Another bird team from that era would have to be the Wild Geese, which started as a junior team in the 20s, but as its players grew up, turned into an adult team in the 30s. Joining the Wild Geese in the 1930s were teams like the Millionaires and the Hornets, both of whom brought trophies back to the palestra. After World War II came the golden age of semi-pro teams in Marquette with two legendary sides. The first were the Sentinels, sponsored by Cliff Dow and named after an antifreeze produced just a couple of hundred yards from where the team played. For over a decade, the Sentinels were a force on the ice, specializing in old-time hockey. Near the end of the team's existence, they even found themselves with a couple of trophies as champs of various upper Midwest leagues. A few years after the Sentinels folded, a new semi-pro team called the Palestra Home, the Marquette Iron Rangers. We've already devoted an entire pieces of the past to the team, but the Iron Rangers followed in the footsteps of the Sentinels not only with their physical style of play, but by also bringing home several championship trophies over the decade or so that they were around. Once the Iron Rangers closed up shop and the Palestra was torn down, Marquette's hockey loyalty shifted over to the then-new NMU Wildcat team and has pretty much remained there ever since. In those almost four decades, though, there have been several more regional and semi-pro teams that called the area home, and that, of course, is not counting all of the junior teams, the women's teams, and the club teams that seem to skate at Lakeview or the Barry year-round. It's all just proof positive that for the past hundred or so years, a great case can be made for calling hockey the official sport of Marquette.